Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video ended up being pretty chatty now that I'm looking back. Um, it's kind of like a first impressions, but I'm also talking about YouTube life, just some general life, nothing too personal, so don't get too excited, uh, all while trying new products. So if you guys like this look, you wanna hear what I have to say, see some new products, also watch to the end of the video if you guys want to see you know, a little bit of a wear test at the end of the day, and yeah, let's get started. All right, so for today, I'm actually gonna be starting off with eyeshadow, which I don't normally do, but um, since we're trying out a new eyeshadow palette, I figured why the heck not, so I'm just gonna prime my lids with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, which I absolutely love and adore. So I'm just gonna put this all over first. I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette. I actually bought this months ago when it first came out and I have not even touched it since but you guys always ask me about um I don't know why this is so dirty hold on let me wipe it off so I don't look like a dirt ball anyways I bought this a few months ago when it first came out and I haven't even picked it up since and I don't really know why uh but a lot of you guys always ask me about Kylie Cosmetics and my thoughts and I don't really have any thoughts because I haven't like used really much from their brand so this is the uh bronze extended palette I believe that's what it's called so it just looks like this very neutral so I'm gonna be trying this out today and we're just gonna see how it goes so first I'm going in with the shade pyrite and I'm gonna be putting that underneath the brow bone we're just gonna work our way down and like I said I haven't used this before so I'm just gonna be doing like a little bit of a get ready with me using all new stuff so just feel free to follow along Next, I'm going to go in with Bronzite. And so anyways, I wanted to get on here because I feel like YouTube is literally going insane lately and I don't even know what to say. Like, people are always, like, asking me my thoughts um, about what's going on in the beauty community and, like, drama. And um, it's so funny because when people ask me like that, I literally have to, like, Google it because I have no idea what anyone's talking about. So I was, like, Googling all these, like, things that are going down on YouTube and how everyone's saying that the beauty community is dead, canceled, whatever. Don't really like that term. I feel like it's so crazy that people are just saying that the beauty community is done or whatever and that everyone sucks and everyone's just in it for the money and where's the old YouTube and it's just so annoying because the old YouTube is still here. There's still tons of people who aren't in it for the fame and money and who don't want to move to LA and be famous. Um, you're just watching the wrong people and I'm just like <laughs> the old YouTube is still here I'm still doing the same kind of stuff that I've always done on YouTube. I'm still my same personality um, I am not really into The trends on YouTube and I just keep doing me. Maybe I don't have a bajillion subscribers, but I don't even want them I don't even want them. Uh, I am totally good. I have come like a long way since last year. Last year I was struggling so hard with like numbers and everything. And then this year I'm just like, dude, I don't even care how many subscribers I have because the ones that I have are so good. Like you guys are the best and I don't even care about the numbers. Like it, like, I feel like me putting pressure on myself with the numbers was just really frigging with my mind. So now I don't care, and honestly, I just don't even pay attention to what other people are doing on YouTube, and that's how it should be. Just mind your business, do what you want to do. Don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Like, just do your own thing. Obviously, you want to pay attention to, you know, new products and, you know, feedback of your followers, but who cares what other beauty YouTubers are doing? Like, just keep to yourself, do what you love, and, you know, just go about your day. And if you love what you're doing, that's all that seriously matters. So that is my philosophy on that lately. And um, it's been working for me. I've been really happy. And I don't care about the numbers. I always want to be better and improve, but... The numbers are not something that I can control. So I just have to concentrate on what I can control 
and I think that my content is great. <laughs> like, I love my videos. Like, when I'm, like, reviewing my video before I put it live, I'm always just like, oh my god, this is such a great video. I would totally watch that. And that's, like, the biggest thing for me. Like, I don't put out videos and I don't do content that I would never watch. Like, you guys don't see me doing, like, all these silly challenges because I don't watch videos like that. And I just, I don't know, they just don't interest me. There's nothing against them. Like, I just don't really care about them. So, that's why I don't do them. I generally only do videos when I'm, like, excited and just, like, in a good mood. And that's the stuff that you guys end up seeing. Because I do videos sometimes and they just end up in the trash because I don't like them and I felt like they were half-assed or whatever. So that's where I'm at in a YouTube standpoint. So I would love if people would stop trashing the beauty community as a whole because there's a lot of great people out there and you just are looking in the wrong spot. But I also feel like what you're looking for you're gonna find like if you're just looking for drama and you're looking for people to pick apart and looking for people who you know are problematic then you will find them but who wants to look for that like just you know look for the good in people and just do it that way I don't know People are always like, how do you deal with negativity and like the haters? And honestly, knock on friggin' wood, I don't have a lot of haters. Um, obviously, there's people who don't like me, but I don't consider them haters. I'm just like, whatever. Honestly, I think anytime I get a hate comment, I think they're so freaking funny. <laughs> they're just so funny to me because I'm just like, you must be having a really hard time with your life. And I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for whatever you're going through. I'm not taking it personally because you don't know me personally, so. But uh, so far, so good. This palette is actually performing really nicely. And I have found that I just love putting a lid color on with my friggin' finger. I feel like it's just so easy. What else did I want to say? Oh, I wanted to ask you guys, because I've been trying to you know, be more positive and just be more optimistic about life. I feel like I look like Halloween right now. It's too orangey for me. Um, I wanted to ask you guys because so many people are like really big into podcasts and watching podcasts, but I honestly, how do you get into podcasts? If you guys have tips on getting into podcasts, I would love to do that. But I don't know if anyone feels like this, but when I am watching a podcast, I don't really like these bronze shades. They're like really orangey, yellowy, I don't know. I'm just like layering them up because I don't like them. <laughs> the shades themselves um, are nice, but they're just not my kind of bronzy shades, so I'm just going to have to, whatever, I'll just deal with it. Anyways, how do you guys get into podcasts? Because I want to start listening to them. Sorry, I keep starting over. But anytime I have like a podcast on, I just feel like somebody's talking at me. Like I feel like it's just like, you know when you're like trying to like do something and someone just keeps talking? Like anytime I'm in the car like listening to the radio and like the talk show host, I don't even know what they're called, the radio person comes on and just starts talking. I just feel like they're talking at me and I just feel like it's like a gnat. Like, just like, stop talking. Like, how do I get into podcasts? I feel like they would just be so beneficial to my life to like, you know, listen to them and listen to something, you know, productive and positive. But I just feel like it just is like in my ear, like I want you to stop talking. I don't know how to get into them. So if you guys like feel the same way at all, and you have any suggestions on how you like conquered that <laughs> please let me know because I don't I don't know how to get past that and I want to get past that I feel like my thing is I just love to read so maybe that's why it's like so hard for me to get into but the book I'm reading right now it's not a book I normally would read because I don't really like um nonfiction, but it's like a self-help book it's called girl wash your face 
and I'm a few chapters in and I really like it. I like the message that it's giving. Um, so I would definitely recommend it so far. But it kind of makes me feel weird because when I read a book, normally it's like a thriller or some kind of story that you're just like waiting for like an ending or something like that. So when I read like a nonfiction book, it's like, okay, well, I'm not really that excited about it because... I'm not like waiting to see what happens next, you know, because they're just like talking. So I'm like trying to figure out how do I engage myself into something like that. So again, if you have any tips on, you know, stuff like that, I don't know if this is making any sense or if you guys even care, but all right, I'm going to have to put in the shade names and all that because I clearly am not paying attention to what I'm doing. Like It's so hard for me to multitask, like to put makeup on and talk about real life. It's hard to do. <laughs> I had to take a breather, stop talking, and then just put on my mascara and lashes. So I used the Volumazing Revlon Mascara, which is actually really, really good. Um, it's a little bit wet at first, but if you let it dry out, it actually is really good. And then the lashes I'm using are just the Ardell Wispies. So I'm just going to clean up the under eye quick and move on to the face. I have this stupid, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this stupid little milia thing underneath my eye. I've had it for months and months and I really need to just get it extracted, but I'm so scared because I don't want it to like leave a scar or like be a scab that I have to deal with. So um, I will not pick it at myself because I'm definitely afraid of doing that, but... It just will not go away. I've been like exfoliating the shit out of it and it's just not budging. So I know I have to go get it removed. Just another thing for me to deal with. Okay, so I'm be priming my face. This is not new. You guys know I don't like real primers. So this is the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Hydrating Slash Setting Spray. So I'm going to be going in with this. This is the new It Cosmetics CC Cream, the matte version. I have used this once before and I did like it, but I felt like it didn't stay super matte on me. I feel like it just ended up looking like the regular one after like an hour or two. So I'm going to be trying it again today and I'm using new powder, so we'll see how it goes. So this is the shade Tan and I really do love the original. I feel like it is uh, really good coverage, and I love all of the skincare benefits. Then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I don't have a new concealer to try, and I just love this one anyway, so I'm going to go and use this. This is shade Golden Beige. I do feel like this oxidizes a little bit though, I will say that. Then I have a new setting spray to try, so I'm gonna spray my Beauty Blender with that. This is the Fix It and Forget It from Lancome. This is their 24 hour setting mist. It also says it's anti-pollution to deflect and protect. So we're gonna spray our sponge with this. And then we are going to get to blending. So then, um, I'm going to be trying some new setting powders. So I have two that I want to try. So first is also from Lancome. This is their Long Time No Shine setting powder. They have this in two shades. They have translucent and then they have like um, a, a deeper one for deeper skin tones. So I'm just going to be using the regular translucent one and we're going to see how it goes. So says long time no shine. So I'm using this to set my face and my under eye. I'm going to try to bake with it a little bit and see how that goes. I'm just using the puff it came with. 
So it looks really white initially. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just taking whatever's left in the cap and setting the rest of my face. It definitely looks super matte and very smooth. Like my skin looks very smooth with this powder on. So that could be good. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and then I'm gonna do my bronzer. This is a new one from BH Cosmetics. This is their Brilliance Bronzer in the color Bronze Babe. So it just looks like this. It's like a little bit of shimmer in there, but um, we're just going to use it anyway. So let's just it's definitely really pigmented and more on the orangey side. Oh god. Ugh, why? Why bye bye? It like is sticking. I don't think I really like the color of it. The color of it looks really orange. Mer. The color it just looks so orangey to me. Like more of like a brown tone. See how it's kind of just like patchy? I don't know if that's the bronzer or the powder, or what's happening there, but I don't like it, whatever it is. I'm just taking that powder that we used before because it just was so patchy. So I'm trying to just get rid of that. I have so much freaking powder on my face right now. <laughs> Okay, so while that's under there, I'm actually gonna finish my eyes. I'm gonna do the under eye real quick. I wasn't expecting to really like this palette, but I kinda like it. I'm just taking that darkest brown and putting it in the edge. I'm just dusting that powder off. We're gonna see what we're looking like. My under eyes definitely look good. I don't feel like I look too dry. Um, I definitely don't like that bronzer. I feel like it just looks like for blush, I'm using this one. This is from Laura Mercier. This is their blush color infusion in the shade Rose, which I love Laura Mercier face products. I feel like they're just gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Oh, and it's called Rosé, sorry, not Rose. Definitely very pigmented. I can already tell, so definitely tap off the excess first. The color is like the perfect pink though. It's like not too peach, not too purpley. You guys know I love my blush, so I could just sit here and do this all day, but um, it looks really good. I just did my brows really quick using the CoverGirl brow pencil, and I added some bottom mascara. I really am not feeling this bronzer. I don't know, so I'm just going to go back in with this one. This I used in a first impression like a few weeks ago. This is the Deep Bronze from Physicians Formula, the butter bronzer, so I'm just going to see if this color I like a little bit better. I've been trying to use this more to see if I like it. But and I do like the color of this uh, Physicians Formula one better. I just feel like it's more brown rather than uh, orangey red like the other one. I feel like it's more brown toned, which I like. I'm gonna quickly do it on the nose for a nose contour. Also adding it as a nose contour really quick. Then I have another powder that I wanted to try and I wanted to use this as kind of like a, a buffing powder. So this is the Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder, which I kind of do like the buffing technique with my Laura Mercier uh, finishing powder. This is their Candle Glow Powder. 
And I wanted to try it with this illuminating setting powder because I thought that would be something that I was interested in trying. So I'm just going to buff that into my face to kind of just blend everything together. And I'm just gonna start buffing it over top of everything. And we'll see if it like really does anything. I didn't do my highlighter yet, so. It's definitely added a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if you guys can really see it, um, but I can definitely see it in my cheeks. And I think it looks nice. It is similar to the Candle Glow Perfecting Powder. This one that adds a little bit of color to it though. Whereas this one is like, you know, it's like a banana kind of translucent color. So that is interesting. I need to add my highlight still. So I'm using this one from Pixie as my highlight today. It's called Subtle Sunrise Glowy Gossamer Duo. So here's what it looks like. It looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to try the lighter one out and see how that goes. Oh, that is really, that's really pretty. So it looks really good, very metallic though, so I'm just gonna go over a little bit with that powder again, just to make it a little bit less extreme. I don't like that harsh line of highlighter either, so. So I'm just gonna finish it off with a lip, and I'm using these new liquid lipsticks. This is the Les Chocolats Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So here are the two shades that I have today. So we have the colors Candyman, which looks like a little bit more pinky, and then this one is Box of Chocolate. I think I'm gonna go in with the more pinky one, which is Candyman. So these smell literally like chocolate pudding or like brownie mix. This is what they smell like. So I'm gonna try these out. We'll see how they go. They're definitely very pigmented and creamy. The color I do not like. I feel like it looks like too purpley. So I'm gonna try this color instead. This is Box of Chocolates. The smell is so good. The color again is like really cool tone, which I don't know if I'm ready for that. I really like the applicator of these though. Uh, it's like a sponge tip that's like pointed. So I like that because it helps you just get right exactly where you want. And I obviously didn't use a lip liner, so it's a little sticky at first. So maybe let's just let it dry down. I also want to spray my face with setting spray. Again, the Lancome Fix It Forget It one. It's a nice fine mist. I always start off like these chatty videos, like so chatty and like fun topics. And then by the end, I'm like, oh my God, I just need to finish this very makeup look. So the lip color is not drying down and it feels really sticky still. So I'm just taking it off. <laughs> oh geez, maybe I'm not. Ugh. I can't even get it off. I just can't deal with the commitment of a liquid lipstick, you guys. So this is not a new formula, but it's a new shade for me. So this is the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks. I love Rump Punch and Beach Babe. This is Siesta, which is a little bit darker. Oh yeah. I just cannot do liquid lipsticks. much better. I just feel better about my life with that. So this is the final look. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the eyeshadows I actually really was impressed with and I'll probably use that palette again. The only thing is like the tones of the bronzes are like not my favorite bronze but once I layered them up I felt like it looked good but they blended out really nicely so I'm actually really impressed with that Kylie. I'm gonna have to see how the powder and the CC cream holds up throughout the day but right now I think it looks really good. Was not a fan of these liquid lipsticks. The texture just felt really sticky on my lips and the colors. I feel like they're just too like gray toned and I was looking at the other colors in the line that I have and they looked really cool toned and kind of like grayish purpley which it's not really my thing. Um, what else? The blush, I loved. The two powders, again, we'll see how they go. The highlight was gorgeous. 
Uh, the bronzer did not like the bronzer. The setting spray actually really liked the mist of it. It didn't feel drying or have like a weird smell. Um, we'll see how that lasts at the end of the day. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna check back in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know what my face is looking like. Okay, so I'm just out and about right now and it's been not even two hours and I'm already getting so greasy on the nose and chin. And I'm pretty sure that it's a CC cream because last time I wore it, it was like this. Like it looks so dewy right after, like not even at the end of the day. It's like it hasn't even been two hours yet, like I said. And it already starts to get like a little bit I mean, this isn't matte. Like, it's already becoming not matte. So, I'll see what it looks like at the very end of the day. <laughs> Don't judge me, but I kind of want to see if these taste good. No. They do not taste anything like chocolate. Le chocolat, ew, ah! it's, it's coming in stronger. Eh! Now I just taste like makeup wipe. What am I doing, what am I doing? Wash it down with some seltzer. Eh, that just made everything for the rest of my life just taste bad. <laughs>